Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nine Lives of Dawn. I remain your host, Dominic Rashad Fury, and we have another exhibition replay. It's time to be FFC playing spiders versus Atostic playing jump bots on Living Lands, a map which, I mean, it doesn't really favor either of these factories particularly well, but hey, the two all terrain factories on a map that's actually quite flat, except for this hill bit, but bots, any bot can go up this hill, so sure, why not? And I would say Atostic, bit of an advantage just at the start because Pyros can wipe out most of what. Spiders bring to the table. I mean, spiders, especially right now, especially especially the way FFCs play them, usually playing them, is heavy on the fleas, and fleas die to fire. Like pyros, just counter fleas, just hard counter fleas. You cannot beat a pyro with fleas unless you have maybe I think twenty five or thirty. Like you are going way at that point twenty five thirty. That's seven hundred metal worth of fleas. I think that might be the pyro. I'm not even sure. If the pyro jumps, the fleas are dead. If the pyro doesn't jump, the fleas might still be dead because the splash of the fire and the fact that the fleas are on fire and they have very little HP and they have 40 HP. Yeah, the fleas would not survive. So, yeah, I I hope we'll see FFC go for something other than fleas, but hey, if the pyros aren't there, the fleas can do their job. Anyway, pyro, unsurprisingly, being the first thing built by Tostic once they see their opponent has gone spiders because, well, even if they haven't, you'd probably go for puppies. Usually you do go for pyros first. Sometimes puppies for scouting, but oftentimes pyros. Still, FFC going heavy on the fleas. I mean, they are aware this is a jump bot matchup, right? Yes, they are aware this is a jump bot matchup. And I'm fairly certain that Atostic is fully aware that they are fighting spiders. Or maybe not. Well, to find out now, there we go! I'm learning right away they are fighting spiders. Yeah, not to mention moderators, sorry, moderators, I should say con or constables are like moderators. They have the moderator beam or something kind of like it, which means that fleas have a hard-ish time fighting them. I mean, single fleas cannot beat them. Five or six fleas, yeah, no problem, but still. Pyros are a thing. Now, granted, Venoms don't do a bad job against Pyros, but we are seeing a switch to Venom Redback Recluse, which is not surprising in the slightest. Or, right, sorry, Redback Recluse, not just the one Venom. But still, Redback Recluse makes a lot of sense against Pyros. If there's long range of the Recluse, you have the... Well, high damage of the redback. Venoms do make some sense. I don't think they stun in one shot. I think they take two. Yeah, 600 parallels, they take two. Unless the pyro's been damaged, which... Actually... Oh, that'd be really close. I think the pyro ends up something like 95% EMP. If the venom hits one, a full health pyro. Because remember, EMP is based on the amount of health the unit has. So, it's all it all comes down to how much health does the unit have. And from their... I think it, the pre I feel like this has been well documented. I'm almost certain that the way it works is that the amount of damage la labeled as paralysis, if that is higher than their HP, that's a one shot. Okay, FC, thank you. Yes, that's what I thought. FC kill FC pointing out in the chat that a pyro needs to be hit by a single flea once for the venom to be able to one shot stun it. So that's ex so I'm exactly right. That is how it works. And yeah, that's on top of the lightning rifle. These pyros, that, that's actually really effective. That is how you beat pyros, is just by using lightning. Which explains why there aren't that many venoms, because FFC's lightning rifle is going to be able to do the job way better than venoms would be able to, just because it has that extra damage on top of the stun. And how much stun does it deal to? 550, so a little bit less stun. 550 versus 600, but enough damage that it's fine. Like enough damage that it should be able to one-shot stun anything anyway. Oh. Well, hey, Wicked Drex. So Wicked Drex in the chat wondering, is this live or reviews? These are... I am casting this live, but what I am casting live are replays. So the games are not live, but what you're hearing right now, unless you're on YouTube, which you aren't because you're, you're currently watching on Twitch, but the people who are later watching on YouTube, obviously that is not live because that is a YouTube video. But if you're watching on Twitch, it is in fact live. But my stuff is live. The game is usually a replay and currently is a replay. So anyway, back to the game though. We do have the red bat or the reckless coming into position and managing to get rid of basically all the Tostic's front line. And Atostic, I should point out, they are roughly even on economy. So it's not like FFC's doing that much better. The problem for Atostic is they are not even on production. They are getting up a caretaker, but it's a little bit late. FFC is actually not have to worry about that. FFC is primarily been focused on building up the front line defenses, but hey, that's been working fine. That has made sure FFC is not accessing as Atostic currently is. Though Atostic, once they get this caretaker up, they should be able to start really pumping out units. The problem is simply what units to pump out, because the issue being Pyros can't really do much. Moderators would be a great idea right about now, but they are going for Jax instead, and both Moderators and Jax are kind of expensive, but... 
Yeah, I'm a bit surprised we aren't seeing more moderators, to be honest. Like, I would I would think moderators would be the way to go, just because they have that long range. They're able to just wipe out everything. Placeholder's also not a bad idea. Pyros, however, I do not understand the logic for Pyros, because lightning shots destroy Pyros. There is no getting back from that. The only thing I can think of would be maybe using the placeholder to lock down the Venom and lock down the Commander and make sure the Pyros don't have to worry about it. I don't think that's going to actually be that effective. I mean, Atostic's able to use a lot more of the metal for production of units than FFC currently is, but they're also producing units that are not going to be all that effective against FFC's units. So, I'm not confident about Atostic's chances in the upcoming fights. Now, granted, this Recluse is actually going to have a bit of a hard time, and the Jack should be able to get in and get rid of it. The placeholder on top of the Jack, why is the Jack not moving in to get rid of this Recluse? The placeholder does not that do that much. All it does is make sure the Recluse is not going to be able to run away. Jack, go in, hit the thing. Thank you, finally. Sheesh. The Jack should have been already on on the way to attacking this in order to get rid of it. I mean, granted, it's a bit risky because the Jack will get caught in the black hole as well. If it gets too close. But it's fine. Like, it can kill a thing without worrying about it. That's why I figured that anyone would go for placeholder Jack is to get rid of recluses. Even though, again, I still think moderator would be the way to go. Now get that moderator, get it in, or get stuff in, get the jack in. I, where, what is Atostic looking at? Like, Atostic is focusing on this side of the map. I'm not sure why this is being such a slow thing. Like, the placeholder has gone down. Bit of a shame, that. I mean, FFC's forces at least are being pushed back, but now FFC should be able to get a caretaker in here whenever they like, and actually surprisingly aren't. In fact, they are getting very close to accessing as a result of not having a caretaker or anything up front, primarily focusing their economy on building up their commander. Currently level 3, currently has quite a bit of armor on top of the lightning rifle. Up to level... It's getting another level, though, so it should be getting another weapon after this. Same time, though, we do have a lot of powers going around the back, and not a whole lot here to stop them. Very little in the way of defenses, very little in the way of units, and the redbacks are coming close, but they're not going to be fast enough. The powers are probably just going to be jumping in in order to deal as much damage as they can. Suicide mission, yes. No, actually... Okay, there it is. There's one jumping in. It's a bit surprised took a while to jump in. Two of them already down. Third one's gone down. It's two left. And one of the Lotuses is up. Lotus down. And that is going to be... The Pyro is getting roughly free win in the base. Unfortunately, the Pyros are not getting as close to the... Well, the really juicy, meaty stuff as they should be. Get rid of the Metal Extractors. Get rid of the... I mean, maybe the Factory, sure. But the Redbacks are coming close. Destroy what you can. Because this Pyro... I mean, it can jump out. Actually, should jump out right now. Oh, too late now. It should have jumped out like half a second ago. But still some damage. However, FFC... They are way ahead. The only thing FFC hasn't really done is use their metal to actually build units, which can the same can be said for Atostic, because Atostic is just not making sure to constantly be building units. Like, they have the metal up to do it. They've had the metal in reserve, but they've been accessing a lot and just haven't really been pushing units in. Okay, the Jacks can be in there, but... Ooh, nice disruptor bomb coming in from FFC. Not sure it's going to actually do much of anything right now. I mean, the Jacks are just going to be able to come in and tear apart everything. But... It is going to be a bit of a problem. And if you're wondering... Oh, time for an... Why is three-quarters of the map fighting one-quarter of the map? Because three-quarters of the map is not using its resources, just recently got caretakers and can actually make use of the three-quarters of the map in order to fight. Whereas the one-quarter of the map has had 20 metal per second into their factory for most of this game. That's why. Also because jump bots are kind of tricky to deal with with spiders. I mean, I think FSC has the right units to deal with this stuff, but still, it's kind of a difficult thing to do. Especially with the Jacks, they can just come in and start ripping everything apart. It's very difficult to stun them out. It's very difficult to attack them with anything. Fleas come in, get torn to pieces by the spike. Redbacks can do a fair bit of damage, but still, Jacks can do a lot before they get destroyed. That being said, they are very expensive, which is why they are able to do that much and not be broken. But still, they can do a lot. I think Atostic, if they just... Oh, man, Atostic throwing in the towel. There's the self D. They're done. Oh, I just wish Atostic had gone for moderators, though. If Atostic had gone moderators, I could have seen them easily taking out the Venoms and Redbacks, and that would have been very easy. I really don't understand the logic of having gone that hard in for Pyros when your opponent has lightning guns and can stop the Pyros. The Jacks kind of made sense, but I think Jack plus Moderator would have been amazing. Like, Moderator to get rid of a lot of these defenses, and or, sorry, Moderator to get rid of some of the units that are just running around harassing the Jacks, Jacks to wipe out the defenses, because that's really more what they do. And if you had placeholders, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. Or keep the placeholder you had alive. But yeah, that would have made some sense. 
I just don't understand the lack of moderators. Spiders are generally weak to skirmishers. Just pro tip for anyone out there who wants to know how to fight spiders. Get skirmishers. Whatever skirmishers your factory has is probably going to be the way to go. Those will usually do a good job. Anyway, the probably last match for tonight, because I don't want to hurt myself, is going to be between Anir and Gaiop on Aurelian. And in case you're wondering, I did actually start late because of a medical appointment. I'll be fine. Don't worry. My hands aren't, like, crippled or anything. Oh, that was a bad choice of words. My hands aren't going to be permanently damaged. I just don't want to push them too much. They, I don't want to have to deal with the like, tendonitis on top of the shoulder problems. So, yeah, once I, I give it, I don't know, two to four weeks, I should be perfectly fine. But right now, I just want to make sure that everything is good. I am not turning into a lobster. My hands are fine. Well, they're better. They're not fine. If they were fine, I wouldn't care. But they are. They're getting better. I'm not getting claws instead of hands. Don't worry about it. I just want to not push myself too far too fast. So yeah, one more match. Going to be, again, Anir versus Gaiop on Aurelian. So we'll be back with that. And then that'll be that for today. So stay tuned. Be up in a couple minutes.